And then it shall be free. What's up, everybody? It's Eon Cure with day 25 of the Metal Gear Solid 5 countdown retrospective. With only a little over three weeks to go, I would like to celebrate by talking about what followed after the emergence of Project Ogre through official PlayStation Magazine UK on November of 2011, which I talked about in my previous episode. Following the reveal, Hideo Kojima would begin tweeting some images of the Fox Engine and his new project throughout the month of December of 2011. Today, I would like to talk about two of those images, which were tweeted on December 16th, 2011. The first tweet featured this image and stated the following. One of the key features about Fox Engine. Here's the transparent technique, see-through underwear. Oh, Kojima, only you'd advertise this as a key feature of the Fox Engine. And I can't say I disagree. Attached to the tweet is an image of two women wearing nurse outfits through which you can see their bra straps. Very nice touch, Kojima-san. Very nice touch. Now, what's cool about this is that Kojima wasn't just teasing features of the Fox Engine, but also the nurses seen throughout Phantom Pain, such as the one seen in the medical room in which Big Boss is being resuscitated, or the one seen when Big Boss wakes up from his coma. It looks like the outfits haven't changed much at all since Kojima's tweet, with the outfits in the game having similar features and wrinkles. Shortly after, Kojima tweeted another image along with the message, New title, run by Fox Engine. This is without a doubt an image of an early render of Big Boss infiltrating an early version of Afghanistan. After this image was released, everyone was pretty much convinced that Kojima was in the process of developing the next Metal Gear game, although there was still no confirmation on whether this was indeed Project Ogre. Kojima's tweet simply stated that the image came from his new title, leaving room for doubt. During this time, people were asking themselves, is Project Ogre and the next Metal Gear one and the same, or is Kojima working on two different projects? As we would come to learn years later, they are indeed one and the same. A few neat things to note about this image looking back at it now is that the ponytail was something that was decided on pretty early in the game's development. And the same goes for the strap, hanging from one of his pouches that is meant to symbolize the tail of a devil. This image also teased how Big Boss's loadout would show through his character model, as can be noted by the assault rifle holstered on his left hip. We also got a glimpse of vehicles that will traverse seamlessly through the environment, as well as large open enemy bases. There are a ton of hints regarding the nature of Phantom Pain in this one image if you think about it. With that, I would like to end Day 25 of the Metal Gear Solid 5 Countdown Retrospective. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts and theories were of those images when they were released back in December of 2011. And to be further updated on the Metal Gear Solid 5 Countdown Retrospective, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.